What's up YouTube, welcome to another Milmer's Xcode tutorial. Today I'm going to be starting a new series on image views and pretty much everything I found out you can do with them. Um, so in this image view tutorial we're going to learn how to display an image on the screen, like so, and uh, make a button that will hide it, and as I tap the button, the button will change to a show image, and you can hide it and show it just like that. Um, so let's get started uh, quit that and uh, before I start I'm just gonna get an image off the internet which I already have on my desktop which uh, is here the red eyed tree frog I just got that from Google so uh, put that on your desktop and then uh, open up Xcode uh, new project and uh, view based iPhone will be fine and I'm gonna call this image view Save it to my desktop. Now, before I do anything, I'm going to click and pardon me, click and drag the red-eyed tree frog over to my Xcode project and drop it in the resources folder. Now, I've already done a tutorial on what this box here means, and if you haven't seen that, watch it down here. Um, but for now, we're not going to copy this, and you leave everything else as default. Select add. And as you can see, here's our tree frog image uh, in Xcode. Um, so I'm going to make the screen bigger now. And I'm going to go into the classes.h, image view controller.h. And for this, we need two outlets one for the button and one for the image view. So we can show the image and uh, change the button. And we're going to need an action to make the button do something. So in the between two brackets, IB outlet, UI image view star image semicolon IB outlet UI button star button semicolon save make sure you save and then outside the brackets we're going to do our action so that's going to be hyphen open uh, normal brackets IB action close normal brackets and we can just call this hide image oops hide image semicolon. Now uh, copy that action, go into our .m and uh, at the top here just paste it in, delete the semicolon, open up two curly brackets and inside here we're going to do an if statement and we're going to use the image view dot hidden command. Now it's kind of hard to explain so I might as well just show you. So first of all we're going to do if and it should auto complete and then we're going to go image view dot hidden oh wait no sorry we didn't call it image view we called it image so uh yeah so image dot hidden is equal to no so if it's not hidden if it's actually there then do so and the statements bit go image dot hidden space equal space yes so basically what's that doing is it's got, it's checking if the image is hidden if it isn't, then hide it. And also, we're going to add in the code to change our button's text. So under that, go enter open square bracket bracket button, set title, and it should auto complete. And on the first one, go open at open quota, quotation marks and type in what you want your button to say. So this is going to be um, hide. Oh, wait, no show image sorry because if it's hidden we're going to want to show it and this ui control state normal uh sorry ui control state thing we can change that to ui control state normal semi uh no open close square brackets semicolon um and then just at the end of this if bracket here so the end of the if bracket not the end of the action the end of the if bracket Go space and we'll do an else command. Now as you can see it's automatic completed for us, but we don't want that. We're gonna go else if and yeah, so else if, not else, just else if. Uh, and that should auto complete. So hit enter again, and we're gonna check if the image uh, image damn it image dot hidden is equal to double equals means is equal to if you didn't know. Um, yes, so if it is hidden, then show it. So image 
put dot hidden, let's make a little space, no. And like before, we're going to do the action for the button. So copy the other one, paste it in here, and change it from show image to hide image, and that can stay the same. So that save that, and that's all we need to do in Xcode for now. So go to your view controller.nib, open that up, and we need our button and image view. So go into the library, find the button, drag that in, and that can just go there, that'll be fine. And find our image view, and that can be dragged in here. Now I've got a little tip for you guys on how to make sure your image doesn't get distorted with the image view, and I'll show you that in a minute. So uh, first of all we need to make our button, so double click in the button and go hide image and uh, we'll connect that in a minute. So now go to your image view and to set it to your image, select it, go to the uh, attributes tab and then find on the first one it should say image, click down the drop down arrow, find your image which for me is the tree frog. So I'll select that and as you can see our image has appeared. Now to make this image a little less distorted, if you highlight it and go command equals, you can see the image now resizes and it is quite a big image. Uh, so resizes to its actual size. Now for this project, I don't want it this big. So I'm going to undo that and uh, just make it bigger myself. But say if you've got a smaller image, that command equals can be used to make sure your image doesn't get distorted. Um, so yeah, now we need to go into our files owner and connect them up. So go to your document window, select files owner, second tab, and drag button to button, image to image, and hide image to the button, and select touch up inside. And save interface builder, interface builder quit, and uh, build and run. So here's the simulator opening up, and as you can see there's our image. And uh, if we select the button, it disappears the uh, image, it's gone. And as you can see, our button's text has changed to show image. And if we click it again, the image comes back and it says hide image. So um, there you go, guys. Just a quick tutorial on image views, just so you know how to show them on the screen and uh, get rid of them when you want to. Uh, so I'll be making another tutorial, uh, well, quite a few on image views. And the next one will be on a nice animation to fade the image view in and out so it doesn't just disappear like that so you can find that link here so uh, go click on that and don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and give me a comment below just for any videos or tutorials you want me to do um, so see you in the next video